Nauvoo represented the first such structure in the history of this church where baptisms for the dead occurred and other vicarious work in behalf of the dead took place. And there will grace this site a magnificent structure, a recreation of that which existed here and served our people so briefly during that great and epic period in the history of the church. I can just see those people in 1846, the wagons that bitter, bitter cold day going down Parley Street to the water's edge, getting on a barge, moving across the river, up onto the higher ground, and looking back upon this sacred structure which they had labored so hard to build and realized that never in this life would they see it again. It is difficult to imagine their emotions that has happened, and what a significant and wonderful thing now that a century and a third later, we can be here and rebuild it. This was a really significant building, and it was a beautiful building, and it was a large building. Now we're going to try to build it as exactly as we can on the outside conform with the temple that was here before. There will of necessity have to be some changes, but they will be minimal. And we're still discussing, not knowing quite what to do, whether the angel on top should be a recumbent angel or an upright angel. That's a very weighty decision. <laughs> And when it's all completed, we'll have a public showing. And we hope that all the people of Nauvoo will come and look it over carefully and thoroughly. We have nothing to hide in these temples. But once they are dedicated, then they become sacred unto the Lord. And we so regard them and try to take care of them. This will be the house of the Lord. It will be dedicated as his holy house. It will be reserved and set aside for the accomplishment of his divine and eternal purposes. It will occupy a special place in the belief and the testimony and the conviction of this people. It will have great historic significance. It will be a thing of beauty, and I hope a joy forever. I'm so almost excited about it. Now we're gonna break ground here, and that's kind of a, I was gonna say meaningless gesture. <laughs> we don't break any ground. Somebody's already put some soft sand in there. And that means that we will not have to labor on the Sabbath day. <laughs> I leave my witness and testimony of this work. If anybody ever doubted the validity of this work, he only needs see what's come to pass, my brothers and sisters. When the saints were here, they were a handful maybe 10,000, maybe 12,000, I don't know. People dispute the number. But over the earth, this cause is gone. We are building these houses in Fiji, in the Pacific, in Australia, in all up and down Mexico, in South America, in Africa, in Europe. This work has moved over the earth in a majestic and marvelous way as the work of the Lord under his inspiration and guidance and direction, and of that I bear testimony, as I bear witness that God lives and that Jesus is the Christ, and that this is their work, and that Joseph Smith, who walked these grounds 
years ago was in very deed a prophet of the living God and spoke under inspiration that came from heaven in setting the foundation work of this church and pointing its future. God bless us with faith and testimony in these eternal truths. I humbly pray as I leave my love and blessing with you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hi, kids. How are you? Thank you.